Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 8, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to cover more with the partial payments that we've been working on in our order entry system in previous classes. And we're also going to spend some time learning how to do a search as you type form. So as you type in characters into a little search box, it filters a list of customers or companies or whatever you want to search for. This course follows Access Developer Level 7. Of course, I recommend that you complete all of my beginner, expert, and advanced classes and Developer 1 through 7 before taking this class. For those of you who've never taken any of my classes before, they're broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer classes. Beginner is the basics. Well, basics, I say basics. It's fundamentals. Expert is for people who want to learn a little bit more. Advanced focuses mostly on events and macro programming, which is a good precursor to development. And developer is what you're taking now. This focuses on VBA and taking your databases to the next level. Every category is broken down into multiple levels. This is level eight. Each level is about an hour, hour and a half long. You can find a copy of the database that I'm working on in class at this webpage, 599cd.com slash databases. Of course, I recommend that you build the database yourself, following along from scratch from the beginning with me. You'll get the most out of it. However, if you're lazy, like I can be lazy sometimes too, or if you've messed yours up somewhere along the way, you can always download mine right here. You will need your password that you got when you purchased this class in order to open up the database. This class is recorded using Microsoft Access 2016 from Office 365. Everything that I cover in today's class should work just fine in 2007, 2010, and 2013. Now let's take a look more closely at what's covered in today's class. In today's class, we're going to focus a lot on adding some enhancements and some modifications and some security additions to the partial payment system that we built in the last class. So in lesson one, we're going to start by setting up some default values so our users don't have to keep typing in amounts due. And we'll deal with what happens when an order is paid and we'll check for overpayments. In lesson two, we're continuing with our payment system modifications. We're going to talk about how to set your form with code to allow additions, edits, and deletions. We're going to take that manager password and make it a global public function. And I'll show you how to globally search all of your code to make sure that you've covered all instances of something. In lesson three, we're going to build something that I get a lot of emails for. It's how to make a search as you type function. So where we have a list of customers and a text box we can search in, and as I enter characters, it filters that list down. And we'll also have it so we can search in multiple fields at the same time. So you're not sure whether it's the person's first name, last name, or their company name. Just typing in a few characters will break the list down, and you can see all of the people with those particular criteria.